What is going on guys? It is Constable Trend coming back at you with another Madden 17 video and in today's video I made a team out of players that played at Division 2 or 3 colleges in college football and put uh, that squad together and actually have a lot of very good players so we will go over that. This is actually my second take doing this video. Um, at first I, uh, I was really scraping the bottom of the barrel trying to find like a 53 man roster. Uh, definitely it was hard finding a good quarterback. But then um, I did more research, and I was thinking, like, quarterback position. Like, I know Joe Flacco went to Delaware, and that's a smaller school. So I looked it up, and it says it's Division One AA, which is an FCS school. So I guess that's kind of like a Division Two school. Uh, I'm not really too sure. And I know Carson Wentz went to North Dakota State because that's right by where I live. And um, I guess it's kind of still Division One. Like, I'm looking – I have it on my computer right now. Um, there's like uh, FBS schools, uh, which are like the top uh, tier Division I uh, programs. Uh, those are Division One A, and then FCS schools, I guess, are lower tier Division One, and they're Division One A. So I'm, I, you guys probably know more about this, but in my eyes, those are basically Division Two schools. Maybe they are, but they're just labeled uh, Division One AA. I don't know. I don't live in the states, so you guys probably know. Uh, a lot more than that but I did put those division one AA guys from the FCS schools on the team so I'm not sure if this is a true division two video but you know these players definitely went to smaller schools anyway let's go over the uh, the team enough talking about that and um, the roster is actually pretty decent um, the roster is definitely better than um, probably the bottom third teams in the NFL like Cleveland and the 49ers, obviously. So Flacco went to Delaware, Carson Wentz, um, North Dakota State, and Grilopolo, he went to East Illinois. Um, same school as uh, Tony Romo. I had Romo on my team, but I just cut him because I went wanted to go with the younger Grilopolo. Uh, running backs, we have David Johnson out of Northern Iowa, Isaiah Crowell, and Chris Ivory. I could have also went with Danny Woodhead, uh, Rashad Jennings, and a couple other guys. Fullback, I went uh, Kyle Zuschek from the Baltimore Ravens. Wide receivers, John Brown, Pierre Garçon, Tyrell Williams, Vincent Jackson, the speedster Tyree Kill from the Kansas City Chiefs, and Adam Thielen from the Vikings. Tight end, we have Delaney Walker, Zach Miller, and Julius Thomas. Left tackle, we have Teron Armstead and Ryan Schrader. Left guard, Alan Barbre and Tim Lolito. Center, we have Joe Berger and J.C. Treader from the Packers. Right guard, we have Ali Marpet from the Bucks. Earl uh, Watford. Right tackle, we have Jared Veldier and Austin Howard. On the defensive side of the ball, at left end, we have William Hayes and Robert Mathis, the longtime Indianapolis Colt. Noah Spence, rookie from the Bucks. Zach Kerr from Delaware. Defensive tackle, Brandon Williams from the Ravens. Damian Harris from the Giants. And Michael Pierce, I'm not sure where I got him from, but he's actually a pretty good rookie. Uh, left outside linebacker, Arthur Motes from the Steelers. Dan Scooter from the Jags. Middle linebacker, Freeman from the uh, Bears now. Uh, Paul Warlow and Raymond Humber. Right outside linebacker, Justin Durant and Matthew Juden. Cornerbacks, we have Josh Norman, Malcolm Butler, Janorius Jenkins, Dominic rogers Camardi, Tremaine Johnson, Deshaun Shedd, and James Bradbury. Free safety, we have uh, Corey Graham and Brett Grimes. He was a corner. I think I got him from the Bucks, But, you know, he's getting up there in age, and usually uh, older corners sometimes uh, go to the safety position. And he's an 85, so he's still pretty good. Uh, strong safety, we have Ron Parker from the Chiefs. Isaiah abdul Quidus. I think I got him from the Dolphins. Kicker is Greg Zerline. And punter is the uh, very uh, strong-legged Marquette King. So the team's actually pretty decent. The only downside, I would say, is a lot of guys are pretty old on the team. So uh, hopefully we could find some guys in the draft. I really haven't uh, paid attention in the past if there's a lot of Division II schools players in the draft, but we will find that out. Me, if I forgot a player to put on this team that you know of, leave a comment in the comment section. Obviously, there is a lot more than the 53-man roster to choose from, but these are 
um, the not necessarily the best, but the ones I would want on a team. So we're probably going to be simming three years, uh, seeing if we could, first of all, hopefully make the playoffs and um, maybe uh, make a Super Bowl. Depends how Carson Wentz develops. I had him in another league, and it was kind of slow going. Um, a player like Prescott, for some reason, develops better, even though they both have normal development. So I'm going to start simming. We'll pick it up with you guys at the midseason. At the midway point of year one, our record is 5-3, and three, so it's looking pretty good so far. Um, Carson Wentz already has 10,000 XP to spend, so hopefully he could win Rookie of the Year and get that uh, good chunk of XP so he could develop nicely. So we'll just take a look at some midseason stats. Wentz, uh, just shy of 2,500 yards, 25 touchdowns, 8 interceptions, very good. Uh, rushing David Johnson, 596, 6 touchdowns. My leading receiver in terms of receptions, Pierre Garçon, and in terms of yards is John Brown. And touchdown is uh, Delaney Walker with six, and then David Johnson actually has six at uh, coming out of the backfield. That's a pr that's pretty good. Uh, defensively, Justin Rance leading with 64 tackles. Tackles for loss is Damon uh, Harrison. And quarterback sacks is William Hayes with six and a half, and rookie Noah Spence with six and a half. Interceptions, Josh Norman is leading uh, with three. My corners are actually very good. So we got the third best offense at the midway point, and our defense is number 13. So I will take that uh, with this team, actually. Uh, so it's looking pretty good that we might make the playoffs. I probably just jinxed it. Uh, but I'm going to do a little bit of scouting, see if there's any players that went to these smaller schools. Uh, but I'm going to sim ahead, and we will catch up with you guys in the playoffs. So here we are in the playoffs, practice squad players are signed, and that means we didn't make it. Uh, Carson Wentz, almost 41,000 XP, so obviously one rookie of the year, so we'll check that out after we check out a look at some stats. He actually had a very good year, just shy of 5,000 yards, 38 touchdowns, 25 interceptions, a bit high, uh, but uh, he's kind of a gunslinger, which, uh, which I like. Uh, David Johnson rushing 1,105 yards, 16 touchdowns. Isaiah Crowell had 8 rushing touchdowns receiving. Pierre Garçon had 90 receptions, 946, and 5 touchdowns. And then 2,000 yard receivers after that. John Brown had 1,165 yards. And Tyreek Hill playing in the slot had 1,116 yards and 7 touchdowns. Uh, Delaney Walker and David Johnson were tied with 9 receiving touchdowns apiece. Go to the... Uh, Defensive side of the ball here, Justin Durant led with 134 tackles. Tackles for loss was Harrison with 18. And quarterback sacks was William Hayes with 12. And Noah Spence had 9.5. Interceptions, Gerald Freeman at the middle linebacker spot had 6. And Josh Norman had 5. So we have the ninth best offense in the league with a rookie quarterback. I'll take that every day. And then defense was 8th, uh, so that's pretty balanced. I like that. We'll take a look at awards. MVP, Aaron Rodgers. Prescott was number 2. Where is Wentz? Finished 8th on the list. That's decent. Uh, we'll take a look at AFC. Tom Brady is offensive player. Defensive player is Khalil Mack. Offensive rookie, Carson Wentz. Defensive rookie, Noah Spence. So he's got XP2. Big Ben, best quarterback. Best running back is Le'Veon Bell. Best wide receiver, Antonio Brown. Best O-line, Taylor Lewan. Best D-line, Khalil Mack. Best linebacker, Justin Houston. Best defensive back, Byron Maxwell. Best kicker, Nick Novak. So I got uh, some good XP to spend with uh, Carson Wentz. I did scouting at the midseason mark. There's no players projected first or second round, which is unfortunate, but I only have one first rounder anyway. Uh, there might be a decent guy in like the third round I found uh, outside linebacker, so I'll probably take him So we will just pick it up with you guys in year number two Here we are in the preseason in year number two. I'll show you guys my team. There are a little bit of changes to address um, One of them was at wide receiver because Vincent Jackson retired So I picked up another wide receiver, my number six guy, so Probably won't even see any action during the season. Uh, Carson Wentz went up to a 85. I think he still got normal development. I just boosted like his awareness and accuracy. I didn't really worry about his development trait. Uh, David Johnson went up to a 91. Uh, Tyree Kills a 81. Uh, on the O-line, uh, that Joe Berger, the center, retired. So J.C. Treader is going to be starting. 
uh, center for the Packers. And I just picked up this McClellan in a free agency. Uh, I'm not sure. I think he went to Villan Villanova or something. Uh, I think that's more of a basketball school. I'm not too sure. But I uh, picked him up. So that's the uh, – him and another rookie are the only two guys I uh, – the only rookies I have, I should say. This is the guy – I spent my first round pick on him. He was projected fourth round uh, talent or whatever, but he's got quick development, 87 speed outside linebacker, so I like uh, speed there. And uh, everything should really stay the same on defense. The only real changes were um, mostly on offense, I would say. So this is what the team's looking like, basically the same thing. Um, instead of going to the midseason, we will just uh, keep trucking right onto the playoffs, and we will see how we do. So here we are, playoffs year number two. Our record was 10 and 6, and we are in the wild card. We play the 8 and 8 uh, Miami Dolphins. Uh, Carson Wentz, almost 28,000 XP, so he must have had another very good year. We'll take a look at just how good he did uh, in some stats. So Carson Wentz, 4,452 yards, 25 touchdowns, 9 interceptions. So good year from him. David Johnson, 1,104 yards and 10 rushing touchdowns. And Isaiah Crowell had 377 and 13 rushing touchdowns. Receiving Tyreek Hill led the team with 86 receptions for 1,070 yards and 4 touchdowns. Delaney Walker led my team with 7 receiving touchdowns. Very balanced across the board um, for receiving. Uh, defensively, looks like Durant led with 111 tackles. Tackles for loss was Brandon Williams with 11, also tied with Harrison. Both my defensive tackles. William Hayes led in quarterback sacks again with 14 and a half. And then Noah Spence uh, came in second again with 7 and a half. Interceptions was Drell Freeman, Drell Freeman leading uh, in that uh, department again with 7. Uh, so my offense with 10th, so that's still pretty good. And my defense was 8th, so as long as everything's in the top 10, I'm happy. So MVP, Aaron Rodgers, Coach of the Year, Bill O'Brien. Uh, let's go to the AFC, Le'Veon Bell, Offensive Player. Defensive Player is J.J. Watt, Offensive Rookie. We don't have to worry about that. Defensive Rookie, my guy, finished 7th. Best Quarterback is Tyrod Taylor. Uh, Wentz is way down that list. Uh, best quarterback, Levy, or running back, Le'Veon Bell. Wide receiver, Keenan Allen. O-line, Taylor Lewan again. Best D-line, J.J. Watts. Best linebacker, Vaughn Miller. And best defensive back is some cornerback from the Texans. So I'm going to spend some player XP, and then we will jump into our first playoff game. So this wild card game is underway. We exchange quick field, or touchdowns. I get another touchdown. Got a, and then they respond back, tie game, and then I just, I guess I got a touchdown, missed the extra point or something, I don't know what's going on here. Pretty close game, heading into the fourth, they get a touchdown, they're leading by one, and oh wow, this is close, they, oh, they scored late, they beat me by one point. 32-29 is your final, there's Carson Wentz after spending some player XP, he's actually a 91 overall, so it's looking pretty good, um, usually for these weird... Uh, leagues I do, it's hard to find a good quarterback, but Carson Wentz is pretty good. So uh, next year should be good. I'm just happy we at least made the playoffs in uh, in a year. So I think I got two first-round picks this year. Last year I only had one. I did some scouting at the midseason. Really didn't find anyone again, but maybe I'll find kind of a decent guy like the guy I drafted last year, but we will see. So I'll do the draft, pick it up with you guys in the third and final year. I just wanted to show you guys my draft recap before we jumped into the third and final year. Um, only scouted really a couple guys. Um, so I went defensive tackle in the first round. Guy wasn't projected to like the fourth or fifth round, but he turned out to be 76 with quick development. Um, then I took a free safety uh, with 69 overall. But in the sixth round, didn't even have this guy scouted. He's a 76 superstar development like i've never done that before so i'm pretty pumped with that definitely a diamond in the rough and then just uh in the seventh round picked a uh strong safety 66 overall so all things considering pretty decent draft so i'll send the week and we'll kick off year number three 
So here we are in the third and final year that I am going to do with this Division 2 team. So let's take a look. Some uh, players retired. We'll go over that. Uh, but this is what my depth chart look is going to be looking like. Carson Wentz is a 91 overall. So it should be pretty good. He uh, went up to a quick development. I didn't buy the development trade. It just went up by himself. I uh, boosted up his short accuracy to a 99. So uh, that's pretty good. Uh, running backs, fullbacks stay the same. Uh, as for wide receivers, they're kind of getting old, but I got three speedsters. I could just take the top off the defense. Uh, John Brown, um, going to be starting this uh, Luckett at in the slot because he's 76 and he's got superstar development and very speedy too. And Tyree Kill, obviously, he's definitely came onto the scene this year in Kansas City. And then a couple of veterans backing him up there. Uh, o line still pretty good. Uh, Marpet, Armstead, probably the two best, obviously. Delaney Walker at tight ends, getting pretty old. Um, defensively, um, I'm starting that defensive tackle that I got in the first round. Uh, I, I play a 4-3, so he will be getting some playing time. Uh, Robert Mathis retired at the left end spot, so I just picked up this Westbrooks guy. And uh, one of my middle linebackers retired. I can't remember who it is, but I just picked up this undrafted uh, free agent uh, in frequency. And uh, yeah, other than that, uh, my safeties are getting pretty old. Linebackers are old. Durant's not really that good anymore. Jarrell Freeman used to be a 90, but now he's an 84. Um, but my cornerbacks are still very good. Josh Norman, Malcolm Butler, Janarius Jenkins, Tremaine Johnson, Dominic Rodgers, Camardi. Uh, Bradbury, Shed. So I got seven good ones. And my kicker and punter is still the same with Zerline and Marquette King. So uh, same idea, going to sim to the playoffs, and we will see how we do. We are in the divisional round in year number three. Our record, 15-1. and one. We are almost a perfect year in the regular season. I really did not expect that at all. So uh, we'll... Take oh wow the Patriots suck there they really went six and ten obviously Tom Brady's not there anymore so we'll take a look at stats awards spend XP then the playoffs so Carson Wentz uh, forty nine hundred and twenty one yards forty three touchdowns thirteen interceptions rushing David Johnson twelve hundred and forty six yards eleven touchdowns Isaiah Crowell four thirty four and thirteen touchdowns receiving John Brown one hundred and four receptions thirteen hundred and forty one yards and ten touchdowns. Tyree Kill, 85 receptions for 878 and two touchdowns. And the rookie, uh, Burnus Luckett, who I start in the, started in the slot, has 77 catches for 1,220 yards and 10 touchdowns. And uh, Delaney Walker led my team in touchdowns with 11. David Johnson, very good receiver out of the backfield, too. He had seven receiving touchdowns, almost 500 receiving yards. Defense, Jarrell Freeman led the team in tackles for another year. Tackles for loss was my rookie, uh, John Pierre with 15, and quarterback sacks was William Hayes again with 12. Noah Spence had four and a half, and Jarrell Freeman led in interceptions for I think all three years. He had nine this year, so he had a very good year. So yearly awards: Ben Roethlisberger is your MVP. Wentz is number three on that list. Uh, my Div Two coach is Coach of the Year after that 15 and one year in the AFC. Le'Veon Bell, Offensive Player of the Year. Defensive player is Drell Freeman. Offensive rookie is my receiver. Is number two on the list anyway. Defensive rookie don't have... Oh yeah, we do. Defensive tackle, number six on the list. Best quarterback is Ben Roethlisberger. Best running back is Le'Veon Bell. David Johnson, number two. Best wide receiver, Demarius Thomas. Best O-line, David DeCastro. A lot of my guys are on the list though. Best D-line, Khalil Mack. Best linebacker, Drell Freeman. Best defensive back, Jalen Ramsey. And best kicker is Mason Crosby. Our offense is third on the uh, third in the league, and defense is 13th. So that's pretty good. Uh, I'll spend some uh, player XP. I think Wentz almost has 24,000. My rookie receiver, though, 30, almost 35,000. And uh, so that's pretty good. So I'll spend this XP, and then we play the Kansas City Chiefs. So this divisional game is off. We play, we are playing at home in Buffalo. Nice snowy game. I love uh, this weather for football. Uh, Carson Wentz now is a 95 overall after that XP. So very, uh, very good quarterback for only being 25 years old. Um, Kansas City usually always does good in uh, <laughs> every league, it seems like. But looks like uh, we are probably going to walk away with this one. 33 to 21 is your final. There is Alex Smith walking off the field in tears, and we are moving on to the conference championship. 
In this conference game, we play the 13-3 and powerhouse Pittsburgh Steelers, who are rated 88 overall, and we are 87 overall. Another home game, another snowy game. Gotta love this weather for playoff football. Uh, third quarter, we are doubling up their score, 28-14. to Heading into the fourth quarter, we get another touchdown. Uh, kind of back and forth, running out the clock. 35-14 to is your final. Mike Tomlin doesn't know what hit him. And uh, there's Carson Wentz right there. Peace pumped up. We are moving on to the Super Bowl in year number three. In the Super Bowl, we play the 12-4 and Dallas Cowboys. Very good team. They're 91 overall compared to our 87 overall Division II football team. Very good team. They have Dak Prescott and Ezekiel Elliott. Basically, I just got to stop Elliott, and uh, we have a chance on winning, but I do not have that front seven to do it. 34 to 27. I get a late touchdown, but they get a late score, 41 to 34. I knew Dallas has always been beating me in my last couple of videos, and um, they're, they're a good team for a long time because Prescott and Ezekiel Elliott are both rookies to start off uh, the game. Like I said, Ezekiel Elliott, 31 carries. Well, for 162 and two touchdowns, so we just torched my team. My front seven isn't really uh, a strong suit on my team, but uh, Carson Wentz, uh, he had 384 yards, three pass touchdowns. He had two interceptions, which isn't that great. And uh, Zeke Elliott just torched my defense. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Um, I would mark this up as a success. You know, we made the playoffs two years in a row. Um, so we started off nine and seven, missed the playoffs. Year two, we were ten and six, lost in the wild card, and then this third and final year, fifteen and one, and lost in the Super Bowl. So that just goes to prove that you don't have to go to a top tier school um, to turn out in the NFL. Really, you could uh, play Division, you know, two, three, doesn't matter as long. As you work hard, you can make it, I guess. I don't know. I, I don't play in the NFL. But uh, that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you could leave a like, comment, and subscribe, I would appreciate it. And we will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.